It's up higher than that now. And if Bitcoin captures 1%, one coin would be worth 200,000. And 5%, one coin equals 1 million. The question is, can Bitcoin absorb 5% of global wealth? If it can, this is the result. To be in the top 1%, to be one of the $7.4 million, $7.8 million people, you will need 7.4 Bitcoin, assuming Bitcoin hits a million bucks. Now, there's more. So just to give you an idea, it might sound very far-fetched for Bitcoin to hit 1% of global wealth. Put this in perspective, all right? 126 days ago, the Finkster, Larry Fink, just launched a BlackRock Bitcoin ETF called IBIT. Check this out. They have $10.8 trillion in assets under management. They now have $20.9 billion in Bitcoin. Okay, call it $21 billion. BlackRock has been around for a very long time. They own a truckload of assets. Already, after 126 days, it makes up nearly 2% of BlackRock's assets under management, AUM, 1.93% to be specific. So the question is, if BlackRock, the biggest money runner in the world, has now a 2% allocation to Bitcoin, and we go back to this, if value of Bitcoin hitting 1% of global wealth, the answer is under BlackRock's eyes, it's already at 2%. So this $225,766 is very achievable. 